Good morning, this is Miss Barry at Montrose Elementary and this is our second grade class and we're gonna be talking about fractions today. All right, my friends, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to work with our fractions and we're gonna think about a picture. And I want you to think how each of these things are either alike or different. I want you to think how they're alike or different. So we're gonna look at this picture of all those cookies and we're gonna think, hmm, what ways are they alike or what ways are they different? Love these hands. Jackson? Right, so all of them are cut in some way, right? We see some that are cut in half. We see some different ways that they're cut, right? Absolutely, that's one way that they're alike. Nova? We don't have the same number of pieces, right? All right, we've been talking about those fractions, how we have equal pieces, equal pieces of a whole. What's something else that, in a way that they are alike or different? Annabelle? They have different sizes. Yeah, they have different sizes. Each of these pieces is a different size in these cookies. Coco? Um, they have different shapes. Mm, different shapes once they're cut up, right? They look different, absolutely. Serenity? Um, um, like when you're like doing adding, it gets two plus two is four, and four plus four is eight. Very nice, and that's even thinking what we did yesterday with our fraction bars. We are going up higher and higher. Each time, we're splitting it into half again. Half one time, two times, three times to get two, four, and eight. Great thinking. Kaden? Oh, so this one we can see that has eights, right? If we were splitting this up, everyone would get an eighth. Great thinking. Lana? Yeah, so they all look different, right? They look like they're a little bit different type of cookies. Great job. So this is getting our brain starting to think about those fractions and those important pieces. So I've got a question for you. Have you ever shared something with a friend or with the sibling? I want you to think about this in your brain. And I want you to think, how did you know it was fair? And we're gonna use our turn and talk, just like we did yesterday. Okay, so if you're sitting at a desk table, turn to the friend right next to you, right? Turn to the friend next to you and I want you to talk about, have you ever shared something with a friend or with a sibling? And if you have, how did you know it was fair? How did you know it was fair? Oh, you brought you, so what was it that you were sharing? Cookies and cookies and, and kind of like trees and I was, sh and I was also sharing my hot talkies too. Oh yeah? I've been sharing my hot talkies. How do you know it's fair when you're sharing hot talkies? Because if I give if I give if I give her the same amount as me, that's a fair share. Nice. So I have this room and it's it's one room where my sister and me has to share room and my sister Cameron and me we have to share room and one part is hers and the other part is mine and we, we're not allowed to touch each other's stuff. I was walking around, I was hearing so many fraction words. I was hearing pieces, I was hearing fair share, equal, same, I was hearing half, I even heard quarter. Right? So let's think about some of the ways that we have been sharing things with our siblings. I'm going to have a couple friends share. Christopher, how did you share with some friends or some siblings? I share with my friends and siblings, like, rooms. You share a room? Yep, and, like, 
food and rooms? Absolutely. So if Miss Barry was to maybe draw a room, how do you share your room that you're talking about? With beds, so do you have beds that are across the room from each other or do you use bunk beds or what? Bunk beds, right? So some of us might have a bunk bed where there's two beds stacked on top of each other, right? Two beds stacked on top of each other. And that might be a way that you split your room. Do you have your stuff all in one place or do you have a closet or where do you put your stuff? Mm -hmm. What about the person who shares the room with you? Where does their stuff go? So, their stuff goes in the drawer and, like, they put their shoes in a closet. Oh, so maybe we split it by closets, right? Maybe we have a closet on this side and a closet on this side. That's a great way to share something. What's something else maybe that you share and how you've shared it? Right? I love using these pictures to help us. Matthew, what's something you've shared before? food were you talking about sharing? Mm-hmm. And how did you share that? Did you end up splitting it? Mm-hmm. So how did you know you each got an equal piece? Right, so maybe it was, right, like a cupcake, right? How could you make that equal? I could split it in half, right? And that way, each of you would get an equal piece. What's something else maybe that you've shared before? Bianca? Um, I shared, um, I shared a piece of chocolate with my sister. Mm. I cut it into four slices for her and me. All right, so maybe we have a nice piece of chocolate, a nice chocolate bar, and you said you split it into four equal pieces? Okay, so to split it into four equal pieces, maybe I went like this. So how many pieces did you get, and how many pieces did they get? She, she got four, and I got four. Oh, so there were two, were there two pieces of chocolate? Very nice, so we could have two pieces of chocolate that we split into fours, and each of you get four pieces. Very nice. I guess you can put your hands down. I love hearing you guys turn and talk, and we're going to get another chance to be working with our classmates, too. All right, so we see that there's so many different ways to split things. I saw some Me Too's for people who are splitting food or rooms, right? We have a lot of friends doing those same things. So here are some important words that we're going to be using today. These are some of our fraction words that we've already been talking about, right? We have the word fraction. A fraction is an equal piece of a whole. We also have some of these other fraction words that are really gonna help us. Matthew was using this one half when he was saying he was splitting it in half. I also heard talking about fourths when we were talking about those pieces of chocolate. We also have words like third or sixth or eighth, like Caden was mentioning earlier. These are all important words that I'm excited to hear you guys use as we're doing our activity today. So what we're going to do is we're going to be splitting up into our, um, our game groups and we're going to be doing an activity where you guys are going to be breaking up brownies and turning those and sharing those amongst friends equally, okay? Now you guys know it's first thing in the morning so we're not using real brownies, right? We're going to be using oh, pictures. We just had breakfast. But we're going to be using these and we're going to think about how could we share these brownies equally amongst some friends? Let me see those two nice big brownies. Hold them up for me. Hold up those two big brownies. All right, the two big ones. Okay, I want you to look, because in your bag, yep, two big brownies. Caden's got them. All right, we have our two big brownies. So that's what we're going to do for our first problem. So what you're going to do with these two big brownies is you're going to think, hmm, how could we share these two brownies between four people? Before you do any cutting, you have a piece of paper where you could do some drawing and sketching and decide, hmm, how would we have two brownies and split them for four people? So why don't you use your pencils and start talking to your group about how could you do this? 
I see some friends already starting to think about how they could draw it and out. Then, um, color. And then draw two big. Okay, this is. How could we share two brownies for four two big squares? People. And then you probably cut them in half. Two four brownies people. for four people. This is, these two are big and these two are small. So we have to make these, like this one. These two these, these ones have to be the same exact size. Oh. Okay, so we would split each of these. If we were using fraction words, what would each of these be worth? We split this. If we color this in, it'll be one color and then it'll be two. No. One out of two, right? So it'll be one piece out of two. What fraction is that? If we have a one over two, what do we call that? That might be our tricky one. One. One, half. half, half, right? We, it's hard for us to think of that one because it's a little different, right? But one half. So if each of these brownies is split into one half, would that be enough for each person to have an equal piece? And then we split that into two, so one, two, three, four. Fantastic. What's your guys' plan? So, so if I cut this one, so if I cut them in half, make it look like a window. One person gets this one, the other person gets that one. Awesome. So splitting one brownie in, into into those pieces. What about two brownies? All right. So it'd be not eight whole brownies, but eight pieces of brownie, right? So if we did that, then I want you to, if you want to cut that up just like that, that's what you guys decide, I want you to think how many pieces each person going to get, okay? Two brownies split for four people. You're gonna decide how much each person is going to get. All right, so it looks like, how are we gonna cut these brownies? What are we thinking? Are we thinking, I see in the picture we might be doing some halves or some fourths. What are we thinking? We're thinking fourths. Thinking fourths? So if we cut each brownie into fourths, how many pieces would there be then? Five? Right, so there'd be four on this one if we cut it into fourths, and how many if we cut this one into fourths? Okay, so what would be four plus four? Eight, so how would we split those eight pieces amongst four people? You think you do? All right, so if you guys feel ready, you guys can talk about it and then you can go ahead and cut up those brownies and split it up for your friends, okay? I like these pictures you guys have over here. Yes, so we have two brownies, right? And we're thinking of cutting each brownie into how many pieces? Four pieces. So if we cut these two big brownies into four equal pieces, let's do that. Let's cut those big brownies into four equal pieces and see how many pieces everyone is gonna get. If you take this one, and if there's one more, and we all get one, and there's one more, we could just save it for somebody else. He's got a really great idea for those two brownies. How can we split them to make it equal? Let's see. Nova, how, what'd your group end up doing? So, we split, split both of the brownies into four pieces. So, Santos can be one, I can be one, and Christopher can be one. So, we have two brownies. So, you split each, each brownie into four equal pieces? So, you went like this. With your brownie? Because each of these brownies is now split into four equal pieces. That's not how you did it? So how did you do it? So what did you split it into? What fraction? If you just went straight up and down like this, what fraction is each of these now? A half. A half, right? So if we did that for each brownie, how much of the brownie did each person get? One. One what? One half. So in this scenario, everyone in the brownie got one half. Give me a me too if you also did it this way, if your group also did it this way. So we had a couple of friends do it that way. All right, what are some other ways that we might have split up our brownies? What are some other ways that we split up these brownies? Coco? Um, we, we 
get three, and then if we have one more, we can save it. So remember, we're pretending like there's four friends that we're splitting it between. How did you guys cut it? Did you guys cut it with one line across the brownie? One line? Yeah. Right, so you did it just like Nova's group did. Awesome work, so everyone got one half. Kalea? So your group split each brownie into four pieces, and every person got how many pieces? All right, so there's eight pieces now in your brownies. So if you split those eight pieces amongst four people, how many pieces would each person get? They, they, will, um, get, they will get two brownies. Nice. They would get two pieces. So each person here would get two brownie pieces. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, what fraction of the brownie would one of these squares be? What fraction of the brownie would that be? If we split a brownie into four equal pieces, what would one of those pieces be worth? It would be worth Think about our fraction words that we've used before. It will be one half. So we know it will be one something. But if we look up here, one half means that there's one out of two equal pieces. But there's not two equal pieces here. How many equal pieces are there? Four. Four. So one of those would be, great job, one four. So if each of these pieces is one fourth and everyone gets two of them, fraction of the brownie are they going to be getting? Two fourths of the brownie. Because two of these fourths is equal to two fourths. How did you guys split them, Carico? So one of them, how did you split it? One of them I just split down. One of them we split straight down. And then I straight down. So they split it this way. So how did you split this up? How, how much did each person get? So we want four friends, right? How do we split that between four friends? Hmm. If we look at these brownies, and we look at each of these pieces, even though this one is split up into more pieces, if we take two of those fourths together, just like Milana's group did, and we turn this into two equal pieces, just like these ones, Look at this. If you split these two brownies amongst four people, one group could get, one person could get one half, and another person could get one half. But look down here. If we put these two fourths together, that's the same size as our half. We still have four equal pieces. Look at this. Some people would just be getting a half, and some would be getting two fourths. That's still the same. That's still equal. That's still a fair share. Awesome work. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you learned something great about fractions today. Go, Go Mustangs! Mustangs!